Welcome back everyone, this is Stray Faye for another episode of Golden Sun. In the last episode, we did some side quests, we did the Vault End Veil Cave, and we got some genie out of it. And now, before we leave Veil, I think I'm gonna go visit our mother. As soon as I lift this boulder. <laughs> we haven't seen her in a while, so I think it would be... It would be right to give her a visit before we head out again. Just gonna remember where our house is. Should be here. Everyone's just hanging around. Hey, how have, how have you been? Oh, Garrett and Isaac! What happened? You're back already! Already? What kind of... What kind of way is that to greet us? But they said you might never come back. And it still seems like you're not back for good. Like you're just visiting. Really? Is that what it seems like? Yeah. You and your friends. You all look like you're... Hmm. You're smarter than you look. I have to shape up while you're gone, right? If not... Hey, the family will be fine as long as you're here, am I right, or what? Yeah, they have a, they have a strong, strong little boy here. Take care of our family while I'm gone, alright? I think that, that's Garrett's little brother. Yeah, it is his little brother. Whatever you do, you must protect the family while I'm gone. Alright, I'm counting on you. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? Okay. Should I visit his sister? I'm dragging this out. Ah! <laughs> it's been a while. You're back? Have you gone to see Dad yet? I... nope. You have to see him. He's been worried about you. I don't know where Garrett's house is. So have I. Sis. Don't get me wrong. I was just worried you might get into trouble. Because, you know... You're not that bright. Yeah, alright. Thanks, sis. So, are you home for good, or...? No, not just yet. You're leaving again? Don't push yourself too hard when you leave again. Aw, sister loves him. I'm so... <laughs> Should I really look for... Oh, wait. His house is here. Yay! <laughs> this is a weird cutscene. Well, at least we get to see it. Hey. What? Shouldn't we look for Garrett? Why? Isaac still doesn't know about Dora, right? Someone should tell him. I'm right here. <laughs> I think Garrett's mom has noticed her in the doorway. You miss Garrett, don't you? You're looking for an excuse to find him. What? No, I just... Don't... Oh no, the lady's choking. Grandma, what's the matter? Are you choking? It's Garrett! She must miss Garrett too, she's going senile. No, it's really Garrett! Look, look! Oh, Garrett! Mom, Dad, I'm home! What? Garrett? Oh, Garrett! Grandpa, I'm home. Yes, yes, did you complete your mission for the wise one? Not yet. Not yet? Well, I'm glad you're home, even if it's just for a little while. You're leaving again soon, aren't you? Yep, just here for a short visit. Doing some side quests. I'm just glad to see you're doing well. That's right. Aw. 
Let me introduce you to my new friends. Alright, Ivan and me are new to Vale. Um, I am Ivan. Pleased to meet you. I am Mia from a mill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please look after young Garrett for us. Well, enough chit-chat. Relax and enjoy your stay here. Alright. Okay, we saw your parents, Garrett. That was your house. This is my house. The one with a hole in it. Oh no. Mom, are you okay? Cough, cough. Who is it? This is the innkeeper. It's the time to eat. It, it's me. It's me, Isaac. No? Then who... <laughs> Isaac! Are you finally home? Have you completed your mission? Oh, don't be angry at me. You haven't, haven't you? Have you forgotten your promise, Isaac? Of course not. I just came to visit. You promised you wouldn't come back until your quest was complete, right? Did I even say that? Maybe. You broke your promise because you were worried about me. Angry face. Who told you I was ill? The mayor? Or <laughs> was it the innkeeper? Uh, I guess technically the mayor. So you came here because you were worried after hearing about me. Stop being angry. You can't just get out of your promises just because you're worried about me. <laughs> I, I just caught a cold, that's all. But I'm fine now. Look. <laughs> and top out of bed. See? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Go on. Do your best to complete your quest, okay? Uh, I'm kind of curious. What if I do this? I'm sorry I seem so harsh on Isaac. I'm so happy to see you. I'll be waiting for you to come home for good. Oh, all right, that's sweet. What happens if I go back in? She's sleeping again. Okay. Well, I don't think you can heal her. <laughs> for some reason, in my imagination, like I used ply on her, and she got better. But maybe it's probably just made up in my mind this whole scenario well let's see I think I'm gonna cut right here and I'll meet you guys back in Calais all right see you there poof okay we're back in Calais and they didn't really give us any clue about where we have to go next but I think if we go in the inn Let's see. So talk to someone. Alright, this is like a tour group who is trying to go to Tolby so they can watch Colossus, which is like an event. A little gladiator event. Alright, I think I can leave. Alright, here we go. Okay, are we all listening? Let's stop right here. <laughs> Funny cutscene. Where are we all stopping at a place like this? Yeah, we have to hurry or we'll be late for Colosso. Late for Colosso? We can't have that. That won't do at all. We paid good money to see Colosso. We can't be late. Everything will be just fine, folks. We're just checking to make sure no one is missing. Well, I guess that's okay. But if anyone is missing, we're the ones who'll miss out. Forget about them. Let's just get a move on. Oh dear. Alright, hurry up and start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, everyone 
one there. Uh oh, we're short one person. Now where could he be? And count again. <laughs> Just count again. What's going on? Why aren't we leaving for Tolby yet? There are a lot of people waiting to see Colosso here. Hey, what's up? Why are the guys pacing back and forth? Come on, why aren't we leaving yet? Here there is a landslide on Tolby Road. Or Road to Tolby. We paid good money to take this cruise to see Colosso. We have to decide if we're entering Colosso once we reach Tolby. Looks like we have some warriors who want to enter. Right. When we're leaving, they tell us we have to ride on a boat? We can't stand boats. If I had known, I would have I would never have come. It's just a shame a man like you can't ride on on a boat or on us. That's it, we can't wait any longer. Can't wait? What do you mean? We all knew that anyone who was late would be left behind, right? Everyone understood that. And what's the problem? We'll miss the boat if we wait any longer. Miss the boat? We can't let that happen. We paid a lot of money. We have to arrive before the carnival starts. There's nothing we can do. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, follow me and stay in line. And there they go. There's the old man they left behind. Hmm, now where did my tour group get to? No, they wouldn't have left without me, would they? Oh no, I better get moving. Pump those legs. You run faster, old man. Okay. Well, they're heading to Colosso. And we're gonna go follow them. And, okay, it's down there. Yeah, that cave will be off limits to you for a little while. So we want to go to the dock. Oh, another cutscene! Incredible! So this was the ocean Craden was talking about. The, the Karagol is surrounded by land, so technically it's not a real ocean. A true ocean is totally open. What? But this looks just the way Kraden described it. Someday, I want to see a real ocean, Isaac. Okay. It's just a sea. It's a sea, you see. I don't think there's any. Alright, we gotta go to this lady. Are you looking for tickets for boarding? Yes, let's see. Uh, that's not that much. Hey, we got a boat ticket. How are you doing, little people? Let's see if there's any items here. <laughs> Another tease of a digin that you can't get until later. We can't take Silk Road, so everyone's in a pickle. It's too expensive to get a ticket on a ship. It's our big ship. Yes, we're gonna take the ship. Oh, when you reach Tolby, please pass a message to my daughter. Her mother says that tickets are too expensive, she can't go there. Okay, I'll try to remember. Any treasure? No treasure? No treasure. How are we doing on time? Mmm. Let's see. You know what? I'll start. I'll start the boat. Alright. What? Well, no. You're not the only one. Everyone on this boat. I wonder what could have happened. 
I mean, you still intend to cross this dangerous sea. It'd be too big a loss to get so many passengers get away. Say, Kaja, how are the oarsmen doing? They're fearless. No problem there. It's just that... It's just that what? If a whole bunch of them appear while we're crossing the sea, I won't be able to handle them alone. I'm sorry, but you'll have to. I just can't let anyone else fight but you, Kaja. Remember, the oarsmen will have their hands full rowing. They can't fight. There's nothing we can do. Let's set sail. Wh what are you talking about? If we set sail now, we'll never make it to Tolby. We'll be fine. We have a protective amulet. Amulet? Amulet, you say? You mean that little anchor charm? The little anchor has always protected us from danger. Captain, get a hold of yourself. That's just a foolish superstition. It's okay. We'll be fine. Even if we can't find any mercenaries. That little charm will protect us. Now then, let's hurry up. Prepare to set sail. This is great. We'll be setting sail soon. Hmm. Not if I have anything to say about it, he says in his head. Oh no, he's gonna... He's gonna do something suspicious. After him. I didn't do anything. Really, I mean it. This says you running away. Alright. I think I'm gonna end the episode off here. Join us next time when we figure out what that sneaky sailor has done. Alright. Bye bye!